Hi friends, now we are going to discuss about how we can debug on a particular uh, uh, particular uh, debugging point based on messages. Okay, so here it is. So if I go to ME52N, so not ME52 one. Suppose I go to ME22N and I'm going to change something in a purchase order. Okay, and suppose here you have this, this, I'll just change this unit, I'll change to something else and I'll try to uh, save it. So the moment I try to save it, I get this message that purchase order can still contains faulty item, order price cannot be changed. So in this case, what you can do is you can click on it. Okay, if I click on this particular message, it will give me further information. And here, if you go here, you can see that the message number is 06 and the message, this is the message class and this is the message number. This is very important. Okay. So what I can do is I have 06516. Okay. So I will close this now. And, and how you can put a debug is, is here you just type slash H. And now here I'll just press save. The moment I save it, it will try to open in another session. Okay. So I think I hope I have enough session left. So so it will open in one session. So it's there. Now here, very important here. You go to break. This this tab. Okay. And here you click on create breakpoints. And here we can put message and here you will put 06 and I don't really know the number but we can say E we will see whether it works or not okay so we said message this this I forgot the number of the message um, number I only remember the message ID so now here it's in this screen so if you are a keyboard person, you can hit this button or if you are, you know, if you're a mouse person, you will hit this or you can hit F8. So I'm just hitting F8. And here, if you see here, it stops. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specifically say it because it didn't stop here. So what I'm going to do, is I'll click on this. So here, I just want to go here. And I'll put 516 was the number. 06516. Probably I made a mistake. So the same process I'm going to do is slash H. And we hit save. And we put break watch point. And I put 06. I put 516. Right. 516. Save, save, and I put the message. And see, here it comes. Here is the place where this code is getting fired. Now, if you want to check further what is there, so main thing about SAP when you are debugging. Always make sure you click on the double click and all those things here from here you will get lots of information Okay, so if you double click here, it says what is the problem? Who is the user and all those things? So every information you can see and if you go up you can see why it's giving me given an error and this is standard SAP so here you can see that this this is this message is getting fired at this point and furthermore you can debug further now in order to see where this is getting called if you, if it's getting called since this is a standard transaction there would be loops and loops and nested stuffs that are calling one program is calling another program there's like bunch of things so the thing that i am showing is here is this thing that i'm showing so if you did, if you see i was trying to post a document at this point it called so many stuff in between and then this called this this called this and eventually this is calling this function mode okay so here you can see all these things if you want to go here suppose 
you can just double click on it and you can go into this into this place and if you scroll down you will get more information so you probably will see post document okay and here you can see all the stuff that you can think of so this is very useful in finding the exact places where this uh, where this where the message is getting fired and from that you can you know reverse engineer and find what is the issue um, so that this is very helpful and you should be using this uh, so very easy thing is once you get the message message id message class message id just go here and i will show it again we go here and we click on create breakpoint once i click create breakpoints i will just go here message and here i'll put the id and the number and that's it and we'll just save it and that's it and everything will be changed uh, and it will stop in the exact point that you want so that's it this covers the debugging with the message that is getting fired and the debugger stops at exactly the same place where this message is getting fired so that you can analyze what's the issue.